All right, so we're ready to plant some pea seeds directly in our grow bed. Now, a lot of people use transplants. Luckily, uh, you know, we have programs in 11 local schools. So I have transplants, aquaponics transplants ready all the time. We use rock wool to get them started. But for home aquaponics, you don't always have that choice. So we're gonna show you how to plant some seeds. These are sugar snap peas, and this is a perfect time of year to plant them. We are in early February, and we're gonna plant them right in the gravel. Now the great thing about the constant flood system is we can make a row right here in our gravel. And what you wanna do is expose the section where the water is gonna sit. All right, you see a little water in there? So we want just a little bit of water. We want moisture down there for when we plant our seeds. So I got my nice little row cleared out. Now this side of the system is the north facing side. And um, which is where you want the peas because they're gonna climb up a trellis. And you don't want them shading out other plants. So what we do here, we're gonna open up pack of seeds here. Give me one second to get my camera back. Here we go. So we have sugar snap peas and these are to be spaced at two and a half inches which is really kind of easy. So what we'll do is we'll pour some seeds out. Still learning how to hold a camera with one hand and we're gonna pick some up and we're just gonna drop them in a row about one to two inches apart the reason I do not just straight up two inches is because if some don't germinate then you have a big space on your row and as cheap as these seeds are that's not what we're going for and once they pop up if you get too many that are too close together then you just pick them and eat them because pea shoots are delicious So we have our row planted, and then what we're going to do is just scoop the rocks back over them. Now, seeds don't like to be covered more than, you know, two to three times the diameter of the seed, so we're not going to go rake a whole ton of gravel back onto them. What we'll do is we'll let them sprout, and then once they pop up, then we can take this little mound of gravel here and we can, we can pile it on the sides of them. So that's how you plant in a constant flood aquaponics system. It is February 4th, no, February 5th. And I'll post a video in a couple more days when they sprout up and keep you guys informed of what's going on. We have some little baby broccolis coming up here. You know, this is actually done. Now, you actually want to harvest it before this. Now you see how small this head of broccoli is because we don't get much light where this system is this time of year, maybe three to four hours a day. If we had six to seven hours a day, this would probably be about twice as big. But you see how this broccoli is about to open up its flowers. It's not that great tasting once the flowers open up, so we want to get this thing off right away. Actually, you see that little yellow guy? This thing is about to burst open. This is past its prime. You really want to get the broccoli harvested when its heads are a little more dense. Uh, nice and tight like that. So stay tuned. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, 100 Gardens, and follow us on Facebook slash 100 Gardens or Instagram at 100 Gardens. Thank you.